All right, so this is the part two of my video where I talk about my prediction about the Lego movie characters according to the sheets that was produced for the collectibles minifigures. So I did the Lego movie two first and now I'm gonna do the Lego movie one afterwards. So please listen, if, if you're into it and you want to waste your time, I'm sorry, those videos are super long, but if you enjoyed it, then I, I you make my day. You know, if you enjoy it, I'm really happy about this. And if you don't want to watch it, then just don't watch it because that's super long. But um, if you want to watch number two first, Lego movie two, because I did that first, and now I'm gonna go into movie uh, one. So in Lego Movie 2, I believe that this guy here was the dad of this girl here. And uh, now he looks more like the, the CEO of a big company. And I think he got the Octan mug. Oh yeah. So he's like the, the CEO of a big company. And, but he's still the dad of this girl. I'm going to stick to what I said in my first video. But then he's super like anal in the first movie and he's like not so cool. But after like the at the end of the first movie like something really cool happens to him. And then he changes his mind and he's super laid back in movie 2. And he becomes like a golfer and everything. Okay this thing here I have no clue what this is but this is actually a really cool piece. <laughs> like seriously like look at this. She got like a little hat attached to her hair or massive hair she's like a zombie and she got a gun and wow this is just nonsense it's like a far west zombie girl you know like uh lego likes to have mashup and everything so she probably come from a little mashup of time and space and she's one of the enemy that they have to face at one part in the movie but she's not like one of the main character uh, let me just uh Pose that here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, put that here. I'm gonna try to make my camera stable, so I don't have to hold it. Okay, I'll need to edit my video because that's just gonna be so lame if I. So yeah, I stay at home. Try to avoid the coronavirus not working. I'm not telling you what my job is because I want to remain a secret person. But my job involves traveling, so I unfortunately cannot travel. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, yeah, this girl is pretty dope. I think she's like at the end of the movie, like they need to face. Uh, they need to shut her down at one part and then she's not like a main character but more like a mini scene enemy so this guy had covered it this guy i covered it in the in the movie one uh, but i thought he worked on the stage i thought he worked on um oh my goodness i thought he worked uh, worked on the movie set I was like, wow, this guy is on a movie set and he's so cool. But now we can see his helmet, so that's a worker. And now if I look at this, I see the Octane logo here. So he works with, he, and that's some kind of graph that that people goes in a box. So either he worked for a oil company and that's his boss. I thought that was the dad of this girl. It's still, oh yeah, it's still the dad of this girl. But he's a worker at the company of the dad of this girl. And he falls in love with the girl of his boss. And that's a fuck, I mean, that's a weird situation. Sorry for my language, kids. But anyway, you're not supposed to watch my video because I set my video as 18 years old and above. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, so this guy, main character of the movie, falls in love with this girl here. She's dressed really fancy here. What's happening? It's just like if they're like in the 20, like 1920, and then it's a uh, kind of, uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, the piano plays in a saloon. Saloon, this is the word I was looking for. Now we got the Abraham Lincoln here. So maybe this 
takes place in like an old time or something. Four more and blah blah blah, something on his... So Abraham Lincoln in movie number one looks like he's actually Abraham Lincoln, the real dude. Maybe they go back in time. Maybe there's something like space traveling, space and time, time traveling I mean. And then Abraham Lincoln turns out like a crazy ass dude in, in movie two. And you're not supposed to know that because he's so like boring in movie number one. Whoa, that's the girl that team up with Abraham Lincoln with Axe in the movie, movie in the set number two. So we can see what, it oh, I thought she was a librarian, but she looks more like a little kid. Because she got like a pooch, like a, ban a bandana pooch with a cat. And... Yeah, so, but why does she have gray hair if she's a kid? I don't get it. Maybe it's a kid that aged, like, really fast. Maybe it's a person that aged super fast, but she's still a kid. She's, like, 10 years old, but she has the body, like, the air of 70 years old. And she, she really digs cats, because she got a cat on her sweater. Okay, okay, okay. Oh man, this is from this set. I see this ad piece everywhere. And I'm like, wow, who made that ad piece? This is so nice. So, okay, if this ad piece exists, it just confirms my, uh, my theory that I said in my previous video about that it's kids playing with Lego just like Toy Story, which is not a good theory because I think the movie could be lame if it's like this. But that's a police that was missing his head, or maybe he was like, and then the kids draw a face on it, so he's really funky. Maybe that's a like a puppet police, like he doesn't really, doesn't really like applies and fight crime. He's just like a goofy police. I like his cell phone though. Oh, there's the Octane logo here on the cell phone. So there's an Octane app. I hope the I hope we see what the app looks like. You know, like this guy uses phone, and you can actually see the Octane app in operation. That will be so great. And now, who's that? That's Shakespeare. Okay, it's it's a lot of things with time travel. I believe series two was more about the characters that you loved in series one. But series one is just about having like messed up character because the movie it's all messed up because of time traveling. And but this have a really cool piece. Okay, let's move on. Oh my goodness, this is the guy. Wow, I want this piece. This is so good. Okay, this guy is named Larry. And that's the guy at the coffee shop where this guy buy his coffee for $37 uh, in movie 2. No, in, this happens in movie 1? Okay, so I'm all confused. But here we see the coffee mug. So that's pretty cool that they made a character. Maybe it's just a one scene or maybe you go there all the time. And this girl is just a girl that works with the main character on the construction site for Octane. Maybe she was the original girlfriend. Oh yeah, this girl was the original girlfriend of the main character here. But then he dumped her because he fell in love with the daughter of the CEO of the company that he worked for. So far, this is my favorite character, the Larry Coffee Shop guy. He's really dope, like his beard piece. I believe, oh, there's totally something with the zombie. What is this? What is written there? Taco, Tom, Tumblr, Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. So probably it's, it's, oh yeah, Taco Tuesday. And then there's a Mexican here. So these probably go together. There's something like a zombie infection for sure. So probably it's something like Lego City is infected with zombie and you need to go back in time to fight the zombie virus. I believe it's something like that. The, the, and she's the waitress, the plot of the movie. And she's the waitress at a Mexican restaurant. This is the, the owner of the restaurant, the Mexican restaurant. And he brings you your... Your stuff with cheese, that's a plate with cheese or chocolate, I don't get it. And then that's really funny and that makes the kids laugh because he's like, here's your 
plate of cheese and chocolate, guys. And then blah, 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 she tries to attack the people with her Taco Tuesday special. Uh, oh, and that's the end. Last row. Who's that guy? He comes with the extra pair of pens. That's like so weird to have a character that his item is another pair of pants and there's not even a print on it. But anyway, so this guy, oh yeah, I know. If this girl here is the ex-girlfriend of the main guy, then that's the ex-boyfriend uh, ex of the main girl here. Let's call her Sabrina. I don't know the word, the name of the people, but that's the, that's the, the former boyfriend of Sabrina, the main girl of the Lego movie. And she dumps him for the main guy that works at Octane, right? Another zombie here, all right. Oh, wow, with dynamite thing. So this guy is like the, oh man, he's like a first uh, guy that work that, uh, I'm looking for my word, I, I it's so bad. Hey, wow, you can see, look at this. You can see babes here at the bottom of my, uh, of my thing like you see I download pictures of babes I don't really mind uh, but I'm a little bit embarrassed wait let me just put that up a little bit so you don't see the babes anymore okay so um, so this guy here is the is the oh man it's so my cap my tripod just one sec okay so I'm just gonna go like this who cares so this guy here is a zombie, there's nothing else to say about him and he's brought back from the past. This, oh, those two last character, and we can see it's really more eclectic, the first series, right? Um, this is a panda with the panda plushie. Now, is that a plushie? I doubt, because his eyes look scary AF. Seriously? Like, and then his eyes too look scary, but he got a face underneath, but this dude doesn't have a face. So I believe in the Lego movie, that's actually two characters. Like, this guy has a little pal, and then they just, Lego just decided to make the little pal, like, smaller, but this one actually move. It's not like a toy, it's actually another living creature, just like this guy. And these two people... They are helping them to fight against the zombie because they're super strong and they want to have the students have a lower tuition. Okay, this uh, mermaid here, she's really beautiful. That's the kind of set I would like to have. Um, and I have no clue why she's in the movie. That's so hard to make prediction about the mermaid like why is there any connection the mermaid she's like a pop singer no because they would have put a microphone but let's say she's a singer and then her she really likes the singer the mermaid singer and her goal is that she wants to become a singer but she's not a singer yet but in movie number two she will become a singer and then the mermaid will like, at one scene, she will be like, Oh, I'm going to give you my secret tricks to become a real good singer. And then she give her her tricks. And then the, the Sabrina girl, the main girl, she's like, Oh yeah, I'm going to become a really good singer. So that's a little bit my prediction for Lego Movie 1. And I'm gonna go watch it and see if it's a zombie, if it's like this, if it's zombie that are brought back from the past. They need to go to the past to stop the zombie infection and then the panda helps to fight the infection. And then this guy buys this for $37, he falls in love with this girl. And then we got the two exes here. Oh, some drama about couples. Okay, so, um, well, I'm looking forward to see this. I hope it's going to be a good movie, and I'm going to come back after the, the Oh, yeah, I, I have to come up with names. So, she's Sabrina. That's not Larry, because Larry is this dude, and Benny is the space guy. I thought Benny was in movie number one. 
But no, he's just in movie number two. Um, or maybe they just didn't produce him as a character. This one is Jake. Let's call him Joe or Jake. You know, like so typical names. And this is Oscar. So Oscar is the dad of Sabrina. And Jake falls in love with Sabrina. And Abraham Lincoln. The little girl here is called Tracy. Tracy is the badass girl at, in number number two. Tracy, we got Larry, the barista. This girl, the ex-girlfriend of Jake, she's called Emily. No, that sounds too fancy. Emily would be more like a main character name. If that's an ex-girlfriend, like Lego has to come up with a really like g generic name that you won't get attached to it. Emily is too like it's too bold, Emily. So she's called like I don't know what will be like. Tell me, just tell, say it out loud. Tell me a really classic name. This guy here, but Jake is so classic. This guy is Walton. So Walton, it's like Walter, and yeah, Walton is the ex-girlfriend of Sabrina, and this girl is named. What is her name? What is her name? I can't find a name. I'm so I got a blank here. I got a blank. I got a blank. I'm sorry. I got a blank. Hey, I should stop this video. Okay, she's just called Robin. Her name is Robin. Okay. Whoa! Sorry, I clicked some wrong place. Okay, see you later, alligator.